good morning year one and welcome to today's English lesson. So today we're going to be writing our own diary entries. So if you're ready, let's start by writing the long date and the learning intention which is coming up. Thursday the 14th of May 2020 and the learning intention is to be able to write a diary entry. So you can pause the video and get that written now. A father and daughter are sitting and having a chat after a long day. Did you have a nice day out to the beach today? Oh yes, it was so much fun. I'm just a little bit sad. Why are you sad? Because I'm worried that I will forget the fond memories of the trip. I want to remember it forever. Don't worry, you can write about your day in your diary. What is a diary? So, Year One, I'd like you to pause the video and tell your grown-up what you think a diary is. Off you go. Okay, let's have a look to see if you're right. A diary is a written record of personal experiences, thoughts and feelings. You can see it as a friend. You can look back at it and remember great days and trips just like today. Great idea. Thanks, Dad. So I'm sure that many of you have written a diary entry before and we're going to have a look at some of the things that we can find in a diary entry which you might already know but we're just going to have a look. So maybe you want to talk about someone that you've met that day. Maybe you want to talk about what you've been doing at school or at home. Maybe you can write about um, some nice memories of a holiday or an exciting day out. And you can also write about your feelings, whether you feel happy or sad or scared or excited. It's just nice to write that down and sometimes it can make you feel a little bit better. So let's have a look at this diary entry together. There's the date. Dear diary, today has been great. It was my birthday today and I got lots of presents from my friends and family. My favourite was a big green dinosaur. After I opened all my presents, I went to my friend Paul's house and we played football. Then my mum came to pick me up and take me to my grandma's house for a birthday meal. Next, we went to visit my sister. We had to drive for a very long time. My sister made me a yummy chocolate cake and I had two slices. Finally, we went back home to go to bed. It was past my bedtime and very dark. So the date is very important. So when you look back at your diary entry, you can remember when you wrote it. So we write, dear diary, it's like another way of saying hello to your diary. Then we've got the main events in order, including time connectives. So year one, you should remember from last week's lesson that time connectives are words like after, then, next, and finally, so it helps us to put events in order rather than just saying then this happened, then that happened, and then that happened, which we spoke about how that can be quite boring, can't it? And then you can finish off with your name. Okay, so of course, uh, you're going to be writing your own diary entries today, but I do know that yours will probably be a little bit different to this one because. At the moment in lockdown, um, we can't really do a lot of the things that this boy Peter has done in his day. But maybe you've been doing some other really fun things. Maybe you've been reading a nice book. Maybe you've been doing some online learning, which I'm sure you're all doing right now. Maybe you've been doing some exercise, which will be great if you've been doing that. Um, or maybe you've been playing as well. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be writing our own diary entries about a day in lockdown. So you're going to be writing about your own day. So if you're in my phonics group or Mrs. Meta's phonics group, I've got this uh, template up on the Grange website. So have a look for it. You can print it out and you're going to write, um, you're going to fill this up here. Uh, where it says mood, that means the kind of mood that you're in. So maybe you're feeling happy, maybe you're feeling excited, 
Um, maybe you're feeling something else. That's okay too. You can write that down there. And then uh, over here it says, Dear Diary. And you're going to write your own diary entry over here. So that means you have to tell your diary what you've been doing. Um, it would be lovely if you can include lots of description. So not just writing, I woke up, I had breakfast, I did my work, I went to sleep, but making it fun and exciting to read. Maybe you can include adjectives. Maybe you can use lots of description to describe exactly what you've been doing, how you've been feeling as well as you've been doing it. Um, and that'll be really great to see. Please remember to include capital letters in the right spaces, finger spaces between each word, full stops, very important, beautiful neat handwriting, checking your work at the end, and also I've added on there time connectives. So first, next, then, finally. And there are loads more that you can have a look at online. If you're in Miss Morgan's phonics group, you're going to do something very similar, which is use this sheet that I have put on the Grange website. And it's a little bit different. So I've just started you off with today I something and I felt something. And I've got some ideas here for you to use that you can fill in on the line. So let's read it together. Read a book, played a game, did my online learning, baked a cake, watched TV, spent time with my family, went for a walk. So you can put one of those things over here to say what you've been doing. You can just choose one or two if you want to. And then where it says I felt, you can tell me whether you felt happy, whether you felt sad, whether you felt scared, maybe excited, whatever you felt, you can write that down. And then do you see this massive space over here? That's for you to draw a picture of something that you've done. So for example, if you're going to write today, I read a book, you can draw a picture here of you reading the book and then you can color it in and make it look really nice and presentable at the end. I'd love to see that. And if you're in Mrs. Coco or Miss Thurlow's phonics group, you've also got the same page as uh, my phonics group and Mrs. Matters phonics group and what you're going to be doing is again filling this out here and you're going to draw a really nice picture here to show what you've been doing um, in a typical day in lockdown. So again you can use this slide as well. So for example if, if you've been doing some baking you can draw yourself baking over here. Maybe you've been exercising, maybe you've been uh, spending time with your family, watching TV, uh, it's up to you what you want to draw. Okay, so that's it for today, Year One. Please remember to send in all that lovely work to the Year One email address. I really love to watch all the lovely things that you've been uh, sending in. It's so nice to see. So keep up the fantastic work and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.